Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before anything else, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go. And of course, don't forget to click the bell beside it para lagi kang updated pag mayroon akong bagong reviews. So nakitingin naman sa title, ang ina-review ko today for you guys is the Vice Cosmetics, yung pinakabago nilang product which is the Duo Finish Foundation. Now, before anything else, I'm just sobrang thankful talaga sa Vice Cosmetics team kasi part ako nung campaign. So isa ako sa limang influencers na pinili um, to be part of the Duo Finish Foundation campaign. So ako, I represent Gandang Chesa. Ayun. So sa mga Gandang Chesa tribe ko, mag-comment down below kayo kung pareho tayo ng shade. It was a one-of-a-kind experience. First time kong magkaroon ng photoshoot and everything. So, in that moment, na-feel ko na parang, uy, uma-artista ang ate girl mo. Pero hindi, natuwa lang talaga ako. So, syempre, a huge thank you to Vice Cosmetics. Nonetheless, kahit na parte ako ng campaign, it's not gonna affect you review ko ng produktong to. And in fact, first time ko na rin na ako yung mag apply sa mukha ko. So, parang first impressions din kasi hindi ko pa to natatry ng ako mag-isa. Yung natry ko siya, uh, may nag-apply sa akin ng makeup artist. As you're watching this right now, this has released already. So, nag-release siya noong April 4. At available na to ngayon sa Vice Cosmetics branches nationwide. Without further ado, hindi ko na to papatagalin. Yung Duo Finish Foundation nila is a powder foundation basically. And two-way siya. Pwede siyang wet and pwede siyang dry. Natutuwa ako kasi meron ng face product ang Vice Cosmetics aside from blushes and highlighters and bronzers. Naglabas na sila ng base product. A base product is very important in any makeup look. Pag talaga nag-makeup ako, I make sure na yung base ko or yung face ko, yung skin um, is flawless before I add color to it and definition. Another thing that I really appreciate is meron silang 8 shades to fit um, a wide variety of Filipina skin tone. So, ako nga gandang chesa. So, ako yung second lightest shade. So, 8 shades siya ranging from fair to really, really deep skin. Ito yung 8 shades ng Duo Finish Foundation. We have Tisay, Chesa, Putina Mez, Kinesa, Shade Device, Morena, Supinay, and Flawlessa. Feeling ko nga itong si Flawlessa, pwede ko siyang gamitin as bronzer. Pero this is the shade range and I feel like that's a really good shade range from light to deep. And ano nga ba ang claims ng Duo Finish Foundation? So it's cruelty-free, paraben-free, and ang claims niya is that it's blurring, it's oil control, buildable, meron siyang SPF pero wala siyang flashback. Ang SPF pala nito is SPF 25. And it retails for 245 pesos, which is probably the best part. Or the best thing I love about this is the price. Sobrang affordable niya at 245. Nung kauna-unahan pa lang, pinapatest out kasi nila sa akin yung shade ko. So, nag-swatch ako, nagulat ako sa coverage kasi parang, oh my gosh. Hindi siya finishing powder, meron talaga siyang coverage. Pero sobrang excited ko na kasi subukan to. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung packaging niya. Ayan siya, bagong-bago, hindi pa gamit. So, ito yung Duo Finish Foundation. And how ako yung shade ko, which is Chesa. So, of course, it's housed in this beautiful Vice Cosmetics packaging na talagang hot pink. Tapos, pag binuksan mo, meron kang salamin na hindi ko tatanggal And meron kayong powder and, of course, yung sponge. And yung sponge niya is not flimsy. para may density yung sponge niya. So, maganda. And parang ang smooth ng sponge. Siyempre, sa likod, andyan yung mga details na kailangan mong malaman. Tapos, meron din yung parang lusutan ng air para hindi naman sobrang masuffocate yung sponge. Packaging wise, packaging is very straightforward. Gusto ko yung slim compact niya kasi pwede mo siya dalhin for traveling. Hindi siya sobrang bulky and hindi siya sobrang heavy na talagang ang bigat or like hassle dalhin. Ang kinaganda naman itong product na to is that it's 2 in 1 so again, pwede mo siyang gamitin dry or pwede mo siyang gamitin wet. You can use it wet for more coverage. Personally kasi ako, pag gumagamit ako ng powder foundation, I don't really use my foundation wet kasi baka mamaya madisturb niya yung product tapos mamaya manikas yung product. So, iba yung technique na ginagawa ko at yun din yung ipapakita ito ko sa inyo kung anong pwede nyo gawin para ma-maximize itong foundation na to. So, ang gagamitin kong kulay is of course Chesa and I'm gonna be using it two ways but I'm gonna be using it both dry. On the right side of my face which is your left side I'm gonna be using a concealer first. So, kukonceal ko lang muna yung mga kailangan kung takpan sa mukha ko and then I'm gonna be applying the powder on top. I'm gonna be using this powder as a setting powder dito sa side ng face ko and then on this side gagamitin ko siya alone. Titignan natin kung may coverage pa siya at kung hindi po talaga siya nagbibiro. Nag-moisturize na ako ginamit ko yung Innisfree Green Tea Seed Cream ko kasi ito yung favorite ko pag gusto ko ng very uh, hydrated base. Concealer na ginagamit ko is something I've tried and tested that works for me as well as yung moisturizer. These products have been working for me for months now. I'm just gonna be applying this on the areas na feeling ko I need the most coverage pero not much naman din. Hindi na kasi ako masyado nag-foundation sa totoo lang. So, Diradaan ko sa concealer. Now, I'm just blending my concealer like normal. Again, naka-moisturize na ako ha. Para walang oras na sayang. 
alam ko naman na yung mga ibang tao, like me, personally, gusto nang more coverage. So, nagko-conceal muna, nagko-foundation muna bago sila mag-apply ng powder. In which, powder naman talaga is usually after concealer and foundation. Tamang-tama, mag-wear test tayo kasi um, aalis ako ngayon. Tapos, medyo mainit yung pupuntahan ko. Pupunta ko sa Divisoria. So, ayun, medyo mainit siya. So, kailangan ko talaga i-wear test ko. By the end of the day, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung kamusta ang foundation natin. Nakonceal ko na yung mukha ko. Half of my face is done. Now, I'm gonna be moving forward with the Duo Finish Foundation in the shade Chesa. Gagamitin ko muna yung sponge niya. Pero before that, I'm gonna swatch it first. Ayun nga, first impression ko talaga, hindi siya yung parang finishing powder ang dating. Meron siyang coverage. Pigmented yung powder mismo, unlike yung ibang powders na very finishing powder lang ang dating. This has its own coverage. So, gagamitin ko yung sponge. I'm gonna roll the product talaga onto my face. And this is like a perfect match for me. So, mm, kung meron kayong um, golden undertones pero fair skin, this is gonna be the right shade for you. As I'm rolling the product, um, nakikita ko na na hindi siya nagkikake so far. So that's really good. And it's setting my face really well. It is blurring. Parang na-blur na yung mga kailangan i-blur. As with any powder naman. Powders are there to really blur out imperfections kasi diba ano nga sila, matte sila. So, dapat naman talaga nakaka-blur ang powder. So, Ooh, I like it. Parang hindi siya nagbubuo-buo. It's sitting on top of my concealer really, really well, which I like. And so far, so good. Ito, I'm trying to build it up. Itong side na to, kasi ito yung side na parang hindi ko na conceal ng maayos. So now, I'm gonna be using like a denser brush. Tapos, ididip ko sa chesa. Not too much. And then, I'm just gonna add more onto that. So, ginagamit ko pa rin naman siyang parang foundation na rin. And since it's like a powder, hindi ko na kailangan mag-powder afterwards. So, it kind of skips a step in your makeup routine kung talaga nakaka-cover siya and kung may coverage siya. Kasi, ayun nga, parang na siyang foundation and powder, di ba? So far, parang nakaka-cover niya yung redness na hindi natakpan ng concealer ko. So, this one has coverage for sure. Ayan, no. Blurring, it's very soft. Wala pa akong nakikita ng pagkakamali sa mukha ko. Hindi niya na-accentuate yung dryness na mukha ko. Granted na nag-moisturize ka, so if you're gonna use powder foundation or makeup in general, make sure na well-prepped and hydrated ang skin para wala talaga din na, um, alam mo yun, cakiness or para din maganda yung pag-sit ng makeup mo on top of it. So, ayun na guys, yung itsura ng skin ko with the powder on, with concealer. So, ngayon, dito na tayo sa side ng bare face ko. So, ito yung ituro ko sa inyo. Pag ako nag-powder foundation, ang ginagawa ko muna, mag-moisturizer ako. So, mag-moisturizer lang ako ulit kasi feeling ko nag-settle na yung moisturizer ko. And what I like to do is apply a little bit of moisturizer. Make sure na ano siya ha. Make sure na talagang moisturizing siya. Habang medyo wet pa ang skin or parang hydrated pa ang skin, yung hindi pa fully set ang moisturizer mo doon mo i-apply yung foundation. Dalawang methods ang gagamitin ko. Yung isa, gagamitin ko yung sponge mismo. Tapos yung isang method, gagamit ako ng brush kasi yun yung lagi kong ginagawa. So, ito na siya. Dry lang to ha. Hindi ko siya winet. So, let's try if may coverage tong si Vice. Duo finish. Kasi nga sabi, duo finish siya. I'm just using the sponge and trying to blend it out. Mmm! Agad-agad, meron na ako nakitang parang nag-settle siya dun sa dry patch ko. So, hindi siya good sign for me. Let's keep going. Tingnan natin. Parang medyo nahihirapan ako sa sponge pag uh, yung siya lang mag-isa. So, nilipat ako sa brush. Medyo flat top lang yung brush ko. Tapos, dipping into the powder, topic of the excess. And I'm just really gonna like, build this up. Ito talaga yung magbibigay ng coverage. Kung coverage ang hinahanap mo sa powder. Dito mo malalaman. So, make sure again na medyo tacky pa yung skin. Na meron ka pang moisturizer. Kung nakikita nyo ba, meron akong parang blemish. Tingnan natin kung matatakpan niya. Wala akong anything on my face except again that moisturizer. So, kung ano man ang lapat ng foundation na to sa skin ko, yun na talaga yun. Ayan, try natin yung under eyes kung matakpan niya. I mean, yes, it did. So definitely not a sheer powder by any means. Nakita niyo naman, meron siyang coverage, which is nice. And actually, now that I'm looking into my skin, parang pareho lang. Parang lang ako nag-concealer. Kaya kong lumabas na naka-powder lang, which is amazing. 
I'm very I'm very impressed with the coverage of this. Usually, pag powder foundation, hindi naman tayo garantisado na full coverage siya. Pero hindi naman din sobrang dami yung nilagay ko. I just made sure to coat my face evenly. I would say it has medium to almost full coverage kasi kita ko pa rin yung iba kong um, marks. Hindi ko sure, pero meron pa rin akong konting marks. Pero na-cover niya yung mga kailangan i-cover. Natanggal lahat ng redness ko. For every day, kung ganito yung mukha ko, ayan, takpan natin. Kung ganyan yung coverage na may ibibigay niya sa akin on a daily basis, okay na ako. Hindi ko feel na kulang ang coverage niya. Ang precaution ko lang sa kanya is, ayun nga, may tendency siyang maka-accentuate ng dry patch. Okay na ako kahit powder lang, honestly. Kasi, mukha silang pantay. Hindi halata na naka-concealer ako dito. So, kaya ko lumabas na ganito yung mukha na powder lang. Tapos ito concealer with powder. I wouldn't say this is the most blurring powder ever, pero it did a really, really good job at just like blurring out my pores and making my skin look very even. I would say, kung marami kayong blemishes and yung active ones, yung sobrang pula, uh, mag-consider muna kayo kasi this might not be able to cover all of those blemishes up. Pero kung yung blemishes mo naman is medyo manageable, hindi naman siya yung sobrang uh, may bumps pa, yung tipong magaling na. And you just need extra um, help in the coverage and in the um, reduction of the redness. Okay to. Sobrang okay itong powder to. So far, it looks amazing. I would recommend it at this point. Pero syempre, hindi naman ito ang basihan. It is buildable. It is blurring. Pero ang oil control ba ay papatok. So, kailangan natin malaman yan by actually going outside. Tatabusin ko lang yung makeup ko off camera and then I'll be right back. Update lang. Tapos na po ako mag-makeup. This is the finished look. So, ito, mag-zoom ko lang sa inyo siya. Um, two sides siya, di ba? Ito yung side na may concealer ako and yung foundation ginamit kong finishing powder. This side, ginamit ko siya as a foundation na siya lang. Walang kasamang iba. And, kung makikita yung iba na malayuan, mukha ba ako may difference? Kasi for me, parang wala naman. As in, siguro, ito lang, hindi niya super na-cover itong blemish ko dito. As in, meron pa siyang konti. Pero like, kahit na-zoom ko siya, huwag yung pansinin yung natural ko pores. Kasi, wala natin magagawa dyan talaga. Ang ganyan talaga siya. Pero, makinis siya. As in, hindi siya sobrang kikitignan, which is amazing. And, ayun nga yung trick na ginagamit ko. Pag gusto mong gamitin yung powder foundation mo, na mag-isa lang siya, mag-moisturize ka muna. Tapos, habang medyo tacky ba or medyo basa pa siya, dun mo ilagay yung foundation by parang dabbing it on the skin. And, ito yung finish niya. Kahit na powder siya, hindi siya sobrang powdery tignan kasi binawi ko na naman with highlighter. Wala tong setting spray, guys, ha? And, sabihin niyo sa akin kung mukha siyang powdery. Kasi, for me, as in, hindi talaga. Super okay niya. Ito yung part na sinasabi ko sa inyo na medyo na-accentuate niya. Ayan, no. Parang mm, may something. Pero, I mean, okay naman. Maganda siya. Um, and yung under eyes ko, syempre, mas may coverage to kasi may concealer siya. Pero ito naman, parang, alam mo yun, pag tinagna mong ganyan, hindi talaga halata. May napansin ako sa kanya, um, after one use, medyo nabura na yung vice sa kanya. Ito, oh kinakatakot ko lang eh, baka mabilis ito maubos kasi very thick yung powder eh. Ayan siya. Full coverage talaga siya. So, baka lang, um, if you go too hard, if you go in too hard, baka lang masyado madaming masayang. Ang worry ko lang is baka mabilis nga maubos or mag-hit pan yung powder. Pero, sana naman hindi. Try ko mag-check in sa Naturalize mamaya. Pero, yeah, so far, so good. Really, really loving it. And at this point, i-recommend ko siya sa lahat. So this is the update on the foundation. It's been probably like 3 to 4 hours na naglakad kami sa init. Dito kami sa TV kasi ngayon. Pero so far, looks good. Update sa foundation. Ayan siya. Hindi pa naman siya super humuhulas. Medyo shiny na ako pero hindi naman ganun ka-shiny. Parang I wouldn't even consider this dewy. Parang okay pa rin. Mga siguro 4 hours na ang nakalipas. Sabi ko sa gusto ko pa rin siya. Guys, powder lang ito sa left side. Walang kahit ano. Pero ang ganda. Hindi halata. Grabe. Totoo ako. Ano ang alas na, Dave? 108. So, it's been like 4 hours na ever since I applied yung Vice Cosmetics na Duo Powder Foundation. And ito na yung sure ako. Wala pa siyang retouch ha. Hindi pa ako nag-retouch ever. And sobrang pawis ko ngayon. So, yung nakikita nyo medyo dewy-dewy siya. Pawis ko yun. Hindi ako nag-blot. Gusto ko makita ninyo kung ano yung sure niya. Kahit pawis. Kasi syempre, minsan hindi na papakita sa review yan. Pero ayan siya. Sobrang pawis ko. Ayun, nakikita nyo. Pero hindi siya humuhulas. Kahit na pawis ako, okay siya. Pawis yan, so don't mind. Pero, itong side na to, powder lang. Itong side with concealer. And honestly, for me, 
okay tong foundation na to or okay tong powder foundation na to kahit na mag-isa lang siya. Hindi pa rin ako sobrang cakey, hindi siya humuhula sa akin. Granted na lakad ako ng lakad ngayon, sobrang dami kong nilakad, sobrang init nung nilakaran ko, kaya okay pa rin. Sobrang 4 hours in and eto medyo, siguro nag-fade na ba siya? Actually, hindi ko rin napansin, pero siguro mas kita pa rin yung blemish ko dito. Pero honestly, pag ganyan, okay pa rin ang fresh pa rin. Lakas maka-fresh, tsaka walang cakiness whatsoever. Ayan, dito sa area, same pa rin. Halos yung problema ko kanina, ganun pa rin naman. Walang nagbago. Hi guys! So, this is gonna be my last update. So, I just got home and got back from Divisoria. And mag-blot na ako. This is the first time that I'm gonna be blotting my face kasi all throughout the 6 hours, 3.16pm na ngayon. And um, I would just end this vlog here na. I've been on my face for 6 hours. So I feel like that's a good time na. So after 6 hours, ito ang itsura ng skin ko. As you can see, I am sweaty. Sobrang mainit kasi ngayon. As in, ewan ko ang extra init niya. So mag-blot lang ako. Sorry pala, medyo ako pala yung mata ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari dyan. Siguro haggard or... Like, di ko alam anong nangyari kasi nag-leaving nga kami. Pero, honestly, my forehead isn't even, like, oily. It's mostly the sweat. Blot lang ako, guys. Kasi, ano, pawis ako. Hindi siya oily. Parang pawis siya. Tanggalin ko lang yung mga pawis kasi gabi sobrang init sa binondo. As you can see, sobrang ganda pa rin niya sa skin. Very minimal ang transfer. Halos wala. Oh. Puro pawis nga ang lang nakuha. Hindi nga siya oily. Pawis yan eh kasi basa. Um, and yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Nag-shock din ako sa kanya kasi definitely nakaka-control siya ng oil and long-lasting siya. Um, napapansin ko lang na medyo natanggal siya dito sa may mustache area ko kasi medyo pawisin ako dyan and konting-konti dito medyo nag-peak through na yung isa kong tigyawat dyan. Pero, other than that, uh, dito sa area ng face ko na to think powder lang ang nilagay ko dyan, it's still intact, I can still go out na ganito yung itsura ko and wala, as in, nandiyan lang siya, hindi siya umalis oh. So, very long lasting naman for me. You can use it as a setting powder, as a retouch powder, blotting powder, but you can also use it as a foundation. In my case, ayun nga, I really, really like it. I'm definitely gonna wear it again. And I'm gonna be wearing it alone for sure kasi sobrang ambilis lang gamitin ng product na hindi siya. So, it's a no-fuss powder. So, ayan, sobrang fresh pa rin. Hindi siya talaga, dito yun naman, 6 hours in and maganda. Hindi siya nagbitak. Parang hindi nga siya nahumulas masyado dun sa areas ko eh, ba? Ito lang siguro medyo nag-peak through pa ng konti. Pero, I mean, it's not even something major. And syempre yung bronzer, blush, and highlight ko on both sides yan. For a brand that's just starting out and doing like face products and base products, this is definitely a good start. Kasi we're all used to local brands having 2-3 shades of powder. Let's be real. And for a local brand to release 8 shades, that's a big step. Diba, first, parang first time lang natin makakita ng brand na local na 8 shades yung powder. Diba, usually 3, 4 shades. Diba, parang how is that gonna fit every category ng skin tone nating mga Pinay? So, ngayon, 8 shades is a good starting point. Sana maglabas pa sila ng more colors. Pero for the meantime, I'm so impressed with the Vice Cosmetics Duo Finish Foundation. Ganda. I'm definitely gonna bring this with me when I travel. Super nagustuhan ko siya. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Comment down below what you wanna see next on my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye!